morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy Heart Chakra Wednesday. It's Dr. Flo here telling you not what I heard, but what I know. What I know is that you are loved and lovable. You've always been loved and lovable, and you're always going to be loved and lovable for the rest of your life. Today is Heart Chakra Wednesday, where we focus on our I love energy. I love myself. I love the world. I love humanity. I support humanity because I love humanity and I love myself. I love the trees changing colors. I love my professional studio in the house. I love my ability to connect with thousands of people every day on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and beyond. What do you love? Drop in the comments what you love today. I love being alive. I love pizza. Uh, I love playing with Robert on set. I love the heart chakra energy is all about your wellness and love your ability to love and be loved the color of the chakra is green for wisdom money luck abundance fertility healing manifestation nature and trust remember the affirmation is I love focusing today and every Wednesday and every day on what you love in this life can actually amplify more of what you love I love singing and speaking and sharing my love with people all over the world on TikTok and in real life. I love connecting with people. I love helping people. I love healing people. I love giving people a sense of freedom, joy, and love. What do you love today? For those of you who use rose quartz and green avatarine and uh, rhodonite and emerald and green calcite, all these crystals are important if you're into that kind of woo-woo to help you amplify your heart chakra. Placing your hand over your chest center and your heart space and saying, I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself today will increase your vibration from your, your chest center and your heart space. When you're imbalanced in your heart chakra, you are unable to love. You're unable to be loving. You're, you're wondering right now in your life why you don't have the ability to receive love and let love into your life or why you're not falling in love with your passions and your magic. You're not falling in love with your face. You'd be surprised how many people don't like their faces or their shoe sizes or the size of other things. <laughs> if only I had a bigger butt. If only I had a bigger other things, then I would be attractive. If only I had more money, if only I had more friends, if only I had more supporters, if I, only if I had more family. The key is not to have anything more. It's to love what you have. And the challenge for today is how are we today going to love what we have? These people are going ham in my, in, in my DMs in the background. I don't know what they're talking about. Um, how can you go deeper in love with what you have? The, the smartphone you have, the technology you have, the tools you have. How can you go deeper and love on yourself today? How can you go deeper and love on yourself today? How can you love what you see right in front of you? How can you love the people right in front of you? So many of us want to be famous all right, we want to be known by millions of people, but we have a hard time managing the relationships and loving the people who are right next door to us. What's up with that? And how can we love ourselves more today to amplify more love on the planet? But when you are unbalanced in your heart chakra, you'll find it hard to love and to give and to seek passions. You'll find it difficult to receive love, and you'll always be seeking external gratification. Let me tell y'all something. I don't care how many people watch me on this TikTok. I love myself. Sure, we had 2.5 thousand people attend the last live. We'll have close to that this live if I stay on long enough. But regardless of the likes, the like stones, and and the love of the internet. External gratification is never going to actually give me internal peace. I must love myself more than the booty claps. I must love the person that I see in the mirror. 
I must love the person I see reflected back to me in this camera. And I must love that individual more than I love anyone else. I must start with the man in the mirror. You must start with the person in the mirror when it comes to loving yourself. Love is a form of abundance. And you have a hard time getting that gratification when you don't love yourself. But when you are aligned with your heart chakra, you will be more loving. You will be loved and lovable, peaceful, accepting. You'll be balanced in your heart. The amount of love you give will be the love that comes back to you. This week in our uh, ecosystem of love, we have been talking about perseverance. I know my limitations, a friend said. Point me in a direction and I'll just keep walking no matter what. Maybe we could take a minute and evaluate what we're moving towards today. Have you ever tried to do the impossible in your life, like trying to control someone else's behavior instead of gaining manageability of yourself? Have you ever tried to do the impossible in your life, like trying to control someone else's behavior instead of gaining manageability of yourself? Ever done the same thing over and over, even though what you are doing never will work? See, you already know how to persevere. Take a moment, decide to make this trait work for you. Persevere at applying chosen values in your life. Have you ever tried to do the impossible in your life, like trying to control someone else's behavior instead of gaining manageability over yourself? Today, I want to encourage everyone through this teaching on perseverance to be in control of yourself today. Manage your own dream. Manage your own manifestation. Fall in love with yourself today more and more. I want to encourage you to go over to lovedandlovable.org as well. Over at lovedandlovable.org, we've got some fun things going on. There's Dr. Flo's letter of plea, concern, and a call to action. I'm asking today for love, hope, and unity in the form of curing the plight of homelessness and hunger in Lexington, North Carolina. 13,000 people in the town that I sit in don't know where their next meal is going to come from tonight. I'm also calling for a global ceasefire and daily actions for peace on TikTok and in real life. There's an opportunity to purchase merch from us, check out our emotion wheels, join Team Better, learn more about Dr. Flo and the love experience, and also hook up with our community, all loved and lovable, on lovedandlovable.org, lovedandlovable.org, lovedandlovable.org. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to the fellowship hall. We'll talk soon.